a no name, no brand steel mining frame. Let's build it. So yeah, this is a no name, no brand, just generic steel, eight GPU mining frame. So this will replace my wooden frame that I need to build just to get myself started. And it's, it should be like a 30 or $40. I paid about $149 for this case because everything is just so expensive, but that's actually one of the cheaper ones. And I wanted a nice metal frame. So I built the wood for the time being just to get started. Now it's time to upgrade a little bit. And I sure wasn't going to pay $200, $250, almost $300 for a VETA frame. Sorry, they're nice, but they're not that nice. All the screws. A broken zip tie. A few pieces of metal. It looks like it's a good portion of it's assembled. This has got to be the rail for where your riser sit on. It's already got a nice piece of foam on it, which is cool. Goodbye box. And of course, no instructions whatsoever. I don't think so. Yeah, nothing taped to the bottom. No instructions. <laughs> so I get to find out how to put this thing together. Probably overkill, but hey. Okay, that's the basic frame. Now we need to put in the motherboard standoffs. So yeah, motherboard sits here. Right in the middle. They do give you this little tiny piece of metal which is supposed to go like right here and you can put an ATX power supply, but since I'm using a server power supply, that's not going to work for me. So we're not even going to put this rinky deep little piece of metal on there today. Okay, I guess the only thing we have to do now is uh, turn off the old system here and swap it over.
needs to go over here now. Click the button. Once I can find it in the back here now. There we go. Everything powered up. Mm -hmm. There's a notification saying high balls just turned back on. So there you go. That's how you basically build any generic rack. They basically are all the same, give or take a little bit. Didn't come with any instructions, but. As long as you reference the picture that I got this on eBay real quick or Amazon, wherever you end up actually finding one of these things at this day and age with everything being overpriced, then yeah, it's easy to put together. I like the way that this works better than wood. The wood work for the time being, but it's just not my style. Not to mention with everything being metal, everything is on a common ground now that's screwed in, which is good for the electronics. So thanks for watching to the end. Thumbs up, please. Share this around, and I will see you next time.